All right, today we've got a battery from a watt cycle. This is a big boy, but it's not a big battery. It's big on capacity. Take a look at this. 12 volts, 300 amp hours, mini battery. Let's see just how mini this thing is. We get an owner's manual. It's a battery. So there's not gonna be a whole lot in there that we need to know. And now we get our first glimpse of just how small this thing is. See all that extra space? You thought that was a really big battery inside. This looks like it is almost normal car battery size. We'll get you some dimensions in a minute. We also get our battery hardware. So we're gonna get that installed too. We have these nice little handles here that make this thing easy to carry. We get two little plastic protection caps from the factory. We'll take those out. And then our bag of goodies. There's a couple of M8 bolts. They give us four. Two are short and two are long. We're gonna put the short ones on because I don't have any terminals underneath of them just yet. And then our protection caps. I try to keep these on all the time. Safety third. So this is a 300 amp hour battery. Usually on this channel I review 100 amp hour batteries. 100 amp hour battery at 10 amps of draw continuous is going to last me 10 hours. That's really simple math. A 300 amp hour battery at 10 amp hours draw is going to last me 30 hours. Almost three days. It'll take me a while to get this thing charged up fully and discharged fully, but I'll give you the report at the end of it. This is the watt cycle battery and the test station. We've got a 300 amp hour battery and we have the MakerHawk load testing device. This is a relatively simple device and that's why I like it. Simple is always better when you're trying to do a test. And what I'm hoping to get is this 300 amp hour battery to tell me over here in the capacity section, let's see if we can get that to focus for you. In the capacity section, it should say 300. I'm gonna set this to 10 amps, and that means it is gonna take 30 hours plus to run this test. The cool part about this thing here though is that I can stop this test at any time by turning this load down. Here we go, 10.2, get that thing fine-tuned. Kinda of doesn't matter that the numbers exactly on point, but I like it to be on point because all the math works out regardless. So I can turn these knobs all the way down and stop the test, which is gonna let me sleep easy at night. Shouldn't be any problems, but you never want them to be. We've been going for about half a day now and it says 61.8 amp hours out at six hours. And we're still hitting that 10, out, 10 amp per hour mark. So far so good. All right, we have officially crossed the 300 amp hour mark. I can get this thing to focus. There we go. 301 and a half amp hours. And we're starting to do some voltage sag here. We're down to 9.75. And this is where the BMS should cut this thing off and stop producing current. All right, and I'm on the watch out. The meter directly connected to the battery terminals is showing me 9.6. And then there is always some loss in cables, especially right there, I'm sure, and in the board and in measurement, because this thing here is showing me focus. 8.7 volts, 8.77 volts. I'm watching, 9.3. They fade fast when they get down to the end. And we're just starting to hit 9.2, getting close. And we just dropped out. And it's showing the same thing over here. 0, 0.0 volts, 0, 0.0 amps, 303.37 amp hours, 3,622.29 watt hours. They are packing the power up nice and dense inside of this battery. So there is a whole lot of new chemistry and new technology and new stuff going on. And what I have found out, I had to look in the manual. I don't always do this. What I found out is that this battery's low voltage cutoff is at 9.2 volts instead of the typical 10 volts that we've been used to for the past couple of years. Something different. I don't know if it's good, bad, or what, but it is what they document it to be, and that is what I found it to be. So who am I to argue? I don't know. We'll find out as more batteries come out. I have seen a couple of other battery reviews of a couple of other manufacturers' batteries that have the same lower voltage, low voltage cutoff point. So it's a new era. Batteries just keep getting better and better. This is a 100 amp hour Group 24. This is a 100 amp hour Mini. This is a 140 amp hour Group 31. And then there is the big boy, the 300. But check out that size difference. We're packing a lot of energy into a very small space.
This big boy battery here took three days to recharge on solar, which is actually faster than I thought it would. It's a 300 amp hour battery. I'm putting, you know, six to 10 amps, maybe 13 at the high point of the day into this battery at a time. And that's how these big boy batteries work. Once I got it done charging on the solar charge controller, I like to bring it in and double check it because some solar charge controllers are weird, but the one that I got, there's gonna be a video review coming out on it soon, I'm liking it because it works out really well. I brought the battery in after the charge controller said it was full, and I plugged it in to my wall wart charger. My wall wart charger's a big boy. So it is sitting on the floor, but there's the big boy charger. That thing is 40 amps output, and it took it a couple of seconds to realize that this battery was full. So I'm really happy with the charge controller because it did the thing. It agreed that the battery was full and didn't take very long. The other charge controller that I won't mention, but you can figure out which one I'm talking about, took another hour and a half after it said it was full to be charged by this big boy wall charger that I just showed you. If you want more information on the big boy wall charger, I've got a video right up in the corner for you that'll give you all the information that I know about it. And I've been using it for quite a while and I am pretty happy with it. WattCycle is having an amazing Black Friday sale. Check out the link in the description down below up to 50% off. If you use my discount code T-O-H-R, temporarily offline ham radio, T-O-H-R, you get 6% off. What's not to like about massively power dense batteries in little teeny tiny packages. Be sure you are subscribed to the channel because we have a Black Friday live stream that we're doing that has a ton of giveaways, including a huge handful of batteries. You're not gonna wanna miss that. So make sure you ring the bell so you get notified when it comes out. It's going to be on Black Friday itself and it's gonna be pretty early in the morning. You know, like after we get out of bed and get our morning coffee and get our breakfast because we don't do anything before coffee. And if you are a coffee connoisseur, check out the Coffee and Ham Radios coffee at hamradios.coffee. There is a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.